Lamb of God, Lamb of God. It's a new day at the mountain top, 2,350 meters above sea level here in the Swiss Alps. And it's a new day of scouting and waiting. Hopefully, we'll have some luck. Now, while we're waiting for the bitches and the eagles, uh, the smaller birds are keeping us entertained. Uh, so we have, uh, as mentioned, the snow finches and uh, the alpine acanthas, accenters, Ascenters. <laughs> they get a new name every time I talk about them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and uh, and since they're so used to people and so little shy, they come right up to us. And uh, I found it nice to switch to the the wider lens, the 70 to 200 millimeters, to try and include some more of the the amazing surroundings that are around here that are truly special to this place. It's about the middle of the day right now, uh, which means it's really bright and the sun is uh, at its highest point, making for some rather harsh light and, uh, and not necessarily the best images. So, uh, I'm taking this opportunity uh, where I'm pretty sure I won't miss out on too much to do some exploration and, uh, and try and see if I can find some other wildlife that isn't necessarily close to the cliffs. Uh, so I'm going to be walking up this little peak. There is this cliff and there's quite a bit of overhanging snow. So I'm uh, having to make sure that I'm, I'm steering way clear of, of the cliff side and try and stay on the safe side. I am taking quite a big risk though, since uh, uh, this, this little exploration does mean that I'm uh, I might miss out on the potentially the only flyby of a raptor uh, during this whole day. So I'm just hoping that it's worth it. going up here. So I think I need to get some clothes off.
spent about one and a half hours ascending this little mountain of about 300 meters of elevation and it was really demanding because well, firstly it was extremely steep and uh, secondly the snow here does not make it easier so at the worst parts I had to get down on all fours and just stick my knees into the snow to get some some traction to get myself forwards and uh, I got to the top but uh, I haven't seen any sign of life uh, so it goes to show that the the greatest efforts don't necessarily result in the greatest rewards and also on the way down here I fell over in the snow which resulted in this which isn't really ideal so I'll try to get this snow out of the lens hood somehow so this is this is proving to be brutal that's for sure but the views are epic <laughs> there's no doubt about that made it back down to safety and uh, the wind has really picked up which you can probably see all behind me where the snow is just flung off the uh, off the cliff here and uh, it's uh, it's pretty cool uh, to look at and uh, when the birds show up it can result in some really atmospheric and, uh, and interesting images but the problem is that the birds don't like this as much as I might do uh, so they're searching cover and, uh, and don't really want to show themselves which is a shame and also another thing that's a bit of a shame is the fact that it's blowing from the north and since this uh, cliff side behind us here is facing south um, this means that the uh, the raptors no longer get these updrafts because it's blowing from the wrong direction so our chances of seeing the raptors today are probably rather slim but still it's uh, it's worth waiting out for them it's really windy now <laughs> We just had a few really intense minutes with lots of action. Now first uh, there were a bunch of uh, snow finches together with a few alpine uh, ascenters and uh, they were hopping about and uh, providing lots of, lots of entertainment in the fantastic conditions when it was really really windy and uh, the wind flung snow up into the air so I think I might have gotten some really nice images and then uh, the wind slowly wore off and suddenly one of the guys here spotted something way out uh, into the valley and it was a young lamagaya which uh, slowly made its way uh, up the in the in the thermals and uh, uh, disappeared behind the mountain behind me here so uh, suddenly after after so so many hours of waiting finally we had a burst of action and these these small brief moments they're what make all those hours of waiting worth it <laughs> <laughs> 